I'm Sandra Hagas, I'm together with H&M We Love Horses. Now we are at the Olympia Horse Show where we're going to be looking for fashion. So don't go anywhere, we're just getting started. So today I chose a monochrome outfit. It's very true to my style, it's really true to what I usually wear. Um, I wanted to obviously reference the Versace style, the horse style, so, uh, hence the white shirt and the black leggings that I think almost look like riding pants. The boots, uh, which are the absolute favorite piece from today's outfit, is definitely a fashionable take on the classic riding boot. Well, go a little bit higher and not maybe on point with the color, but I love the texture of the leather and I love the pointy feminine toe. Obviously the heel as well, that really lifts up the whole outfit. And to top it all off, I'm wearing this amazing massive coat. I love the big color, uh, the big shape. I went a couple sizes up to get a really kind of trendy masculine fit on it. And I think, yeah, pulls together a otherwise really simple outfit. We have just arrived at the Olympia Horse Show for our first day of filming. It's so nice to be back. It brings back so many memories that I used to have as a child. Feels great. Uh, we're going to be looking for fashion today and we're going to be looking at how people combine their equestrian lifestyle with their everyday fashion. Excuse me! Hi! Sorry! Yeah. Uh, we're reporting fashion today and I was wondering if I could ask you a couple of questions. Course. <laughs> I think you look very, very nice today. There's a subtle kind of horse reference in what you're wearing today. A little bit, not really. I <laughs> don't really plan, but I don't know. I think it's just my general style. Like I prefer like horsier kind of things in my everyday. What kind of uh, horse riding do you do? A uh, bit of everything, mainly show jumping though. You look snazzy today. Thank you very much. Hello, how are you? I'm good, thanks. How come you're dressed so nice for this event? Um, because I'm in my friend's box for this evening. Okay. So I thought I'd dress up for the occasion. Rather overdressed than underdressed, right? Exactly, as always. Do you? How do you dress uh, for the stables and <laughs> for fashion? Is that something you can, you, you're able to combine? Um, no, I go down in whatever I'm wearing and just get whatever I'm wearing filthy while I'm down there. Well, to be at least you're not compromising on the fashion, then, are you? No, I suppose not. <laughs> That's a good mentality to have. <laughs> do you love? Do you love the lifestyle around it? The style, fashion? Yeah, yeah, I do. I like all the horsey fashion and that. Yeah. The, the blacks, yeah? Sure, yeah, yeah. The neutrals. Neutrals, yeah. <laughs> Hi, can I ask you a couple of questions about your brilliant jacket? Is it vintage? Yeah, thank you, of course you can, yeah. Vintage? Um, I bought it from a charity shop, so maybe. <laughs> let's call it vintage, yeah, I think, fair enough. Right? Retro, let's go retro. Yeah, I like it, I like it. <laughs> Posture, I like that. Um, are you a horse person yourself? Yes, I'm very horsey, I have my own horse and um, but I don't work in with horses, I just do it as my hobby. How would you kind of say that you reference uh, the riding style or the riding lifestyle in the things that you wear every day? Very leather, very sort of tweed, country, English style, very sort of traditional, yeah. I actually use my jumper boots as like normal boots. <laughs> I know it's a like, it's No, I like that, combining yeah, very yeah, well. It's actually really useful. All the horse trends are actually coming into fashion now, um, which is great because I've actually seen jumpers being worn in everyday life. That's why we're here. We are literally... Me. I can sort of just roll into town in all my horsey stuff. It's perfect. <laughs> I love that. You hit a nail on the head there. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. We are Italian, as I said, so the image is so important. You have to, you have to look a little bit Italian. In Italian, okay. I have just found Rosalie, who's selling tweed here today. We are exceptionally eccentric tweed clothing. Now, how does tweed, is that something that you think always stays in fashion, isn't it? Uh, it's a timeless fabric, so I think, yes, it goes in and out of fashion, but classic. So you'd be able to bring it out in 10 years' time and it would still be just as cool as it was when, it, when you bought it, really. Beautiful. Can I keep it? <laughs> you, you can if you pay me some money. Thanks. So I quote that camera, it's like, you look cute today. No, the mirror is like, you look cute today. The camera is like, no, you don't. Yeah. And the filter is like, I got you. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm standing here with Peter Fredriksson, who is the H&M We Love Horses ambassador. Hi. Hi. 
How are you? I'm good, thanks. How are you? What's your favorite item that you always go back to in H&M? Well, I like the jeans and the t-shirts. So I like I like a lot of things actually. I, I really like, you know, we get a box with nice clothes and when you put it on, it always feels good. Lucky. <laughs> <laughs> You said you're a massive lover of jeans, right? What about white jeans? Would you wear white jeans outside the, the stable? Mm, I could do it in the summer. I mean, I wear these breeches all day, so... They almost, almost know, qualify as jeans. Almost qualify, like tight, really tight jeans. Uh, what's next up for the next few days? Well, we just started now. We're here for five days showing, and this is the first, oh, this is the second day we're showing. And uh, this is basically a warm up to the World, World Cup, which is on Saturday, and then the Grand Prix is on Monday. So. Exciting. Are you nervous at all? Do you get nervous at this stage? So I've done it for a long time and I wouldn't say I get nervous, but you always want to win, you know. You have to have a little bit of this, you know, tension to and, 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 and be eager to win. So how does it feel looking at your fan wall? I think this is such a nice idea, having the, the signatures be with you every time that you get up on the horse's back. Yeah, it's nice. It's a new thing. We've never done it before, but it's, it's going to be nice to have it inside the jacket. I, I hope it's going to bring luck. But soon going to see you sign uh, Marlin's jacket. Well, I can sign her luck also, but not so much luck, so she beats me. Yeah, I like that attitude. <laughs>